Hey guys, I hope you're all doing well. I know it's been a little while since I've done a voiceover, but I really wanted to do one this for this video. So first I'm using my Benefit Primer, and then I'm going in with my Kat Von D foundation. It's in the shade 52, and it's my ultimate favorite foundation at the moment. It's got such high coverage, and pretty much covers all your imperfections. And I'm also using Kat Von D's concealer. I just am so obsessed with her products at the moment. And I love the fact that they're animal cruelty free and it's got such high coverage and it also works as a highlighter as well. So really love her products. And I'm just blending it in with my Beauty Blender. This one's from Shishi and I buy them every so often because they're so cheap. They're only about $5 and I pick them up from Maya. Then for bronzer, I'm using this liquid bronzer from L'Oreal. And this is actually a different sponge that I use specifically for bronzing, so for darker colours. And I just love the fact that it's a very natural looking bronzer and it's very easy to blend. So now I'm using my sponge that I use for foundation and I'm just making sure that all that bronzer is nicely blended in. To set in my foundation, I'm using a powder from L'Oreal's Infallible Range and I'm using a Real Techniques brush to sort of get into the smaller areas like underneath my eyes and around my nose. So this is a Benefit palette that I bought a little while ago, I think it was Christmas last year and it was limited edition and it came with a select range of blushes and it also came with a highlighter, mascara and an eyeliner. And it was really affordable to get all these products rather than buying them individually. The one thing I really don't like about it is the packaging is so bulky. But the products are really good, so, you know. So for highlighter, I'm using Mary Luminosa by The Balm. And I like to keep it simple. And I'm just putting some on the tops of my cheekbones and that's about it. For eyebrows, I'm filling them in with my Brow Satin from Maybelline. This is probably one of my most favourite affordable brow products. So basically with my eyebrows, I'm just keeping it pretty simple and just sort of making them look even. For eyes, I'm priming them with my MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot. And I'm just using a Zoeva brush. It's a dense brush, so it's perfect for applying thicker, creamy products. And I'm also taking the primer on my lower lash line because the focus of this look is like the upside down winged liner look. So I want to make sure that it lasts. So the first eyeshadow I'm using is Unexpected from Makeup Geek. And it's basically my transition shade. And I'm using like a medium sized tapered brush. This one's from Zoeva and it blends perfectly into the crease. So now I've switched to a larger fluffy brush this one's by Sigma and it's to blend out any harsh lines and then we're going back in with a smaller tapered blending brush just to re-intensify the crease colour. Now using one of my favourite shimmery shadow palettes. This is the Sexy palette from Too Faced and the first shadow I'm using in the outer third of my eye is called Divorcee and it's like a dark grey shadow. And then for the center of my eyelid, I'm taking the shadow Man Eater, which is like a dusty rose gold. It's more of like a deep pink. And I'm going in with the shadow Naive, and that's just to highlight my inner corners. Then I'm taking the shadow Corrupt from Makeup Geek, and I'm re-intensifying the outer third of my eyes. I wasn't too happy with how it looked at first. I want it to be a little bit more of an intense, smoky look and then a dramatic winged eyeliner at the bottom. So I decided to use a little bit more darker colors. So then I used the shade Bombshell and it's a much more intense silver shadow with a lot more shimmer in it. So I thought it looked a bit better with this more dramatic look. So now I'm using my Anastasia Beverly Hills black eyeliner and I'm using my favorite eyeliner brush by Zoeva. This brush has never failed me, so if you're looking for a liner brush, this is such a good eyeliner brush. So basically with a winged eyeliner, I'm using the exact same technique as I would doing a top wing eyeliner. So I'm basically starting out with the outer corner, and then I'm working my way in to the inner corner and sort of just building up the intensity. So it's totally up to you how you want to do your eyeliner. At first I thought it looked really dramatic 
when it was nice and crisp and sort of reminded me of the movie Black Swan where Natalie Portman had that really thick uh, bold eyeliner. So now I'm filling in my waterline because I feel like it just completes the look a lot better. And for my inner corners I'm overemphasizing that sharp look uh, just to make it even more dramatic. Okay, so now with a clean angled brush, this is a different one by Sigma, and with the shadow Corrupt from Makeup Geek, I'm just patting on the black eyeshadow to set the liner in because I don't want it moving, particularly when it's on the bottom lash line. The eyeliner will tend to move or smudge. So now I'm going in with my large Sigma fluffy brush again, and I'm taking this nude matte eyeshadow and I'm running it along my lower lash line to smoke out and diffuse any harsh lines because I decided that it looked a little bit too sharp and I thought since it is really dark on the bottom lash line I want it to look really smoky and this also reminds me of how Kim Kardashian did it I think she wore it to an awards night and I thought it looked amazing on her so I thought by smoking it out would look a lot better so now I'm just adding mascara on my top and lower lashes this one is by Too Faced called Better Than Sex and for lipstick, I was super undecided on which one I wanted to use, so I sort of went a combination with these three. They're all different variations of nudes and pinks, and I really wanted like a nude lip for this dramatic eye look. So this is the finished makeup look. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Please remember to subscribe, like, and leave a comment on my video, and I will see you guys in my next one. So by the time you're probably watching this video, I will be in LA because I have a little movie premiere to go to and also I'm curious to find out if you have made it to the end of this video. I'd love for you to leave me a little star emoji and that would absolutely make my day. Hope you guys have an amazing day too.